Hey everybody, welcome back. Sorry about that. My name is Grant, I am 56 years old, and I am five months sober. Um, today, I just wanted to talk quickly about the reality of when you quit drinking, um, you're probably going to lose some friends. And I think you, you know, throughout life, it, once you get a little older, you start to see a pattern regardless. You go through, uh, some friends stay, you know, if you're lucky enough, you'll have some people that'll stay through a uh, majority of your life. And then there's other people that you, you have a great time with, you're, you're excellent friends, you have a lot in common, and years down the road, then you're, you're not friends. Something happens between you or you just drift apart, whether it be from work, moving, family, duties, whatever, uh, it keeps you apart. <clears throat> Life's, you know, these things happen. Um, I have noticed, though, that uh, the longer I've gone without drinking, um, the less I'm wanting to do with people that are drinking, and the less they're wanting to do with me. So, um, it, it does hurt uh, a bit. It hurts, hurts uh, to think about that kind of stuff. Um, because you know, you care about these people, you love them like a brother or a sister or whatever. And, uh, now because you don't want to go and sit in a pub or, you know, you don't want to come over to their house for drinks, <clears throat> um, because you're trying to get through this, uh, sobriety, get over the hump of being okay. Uh, you know, that you end up drifting apart and, um, it happens and it's something that you need to be aware of if you're doing this you're going to do this you want to quit just know that it's another stage of life and new things will happen you'll meet new people you'll be out you'll be doing new things you'll, you might have new hobbies um, different people will see you in a different light maybe you know them already and you know, you'll become closer to someone that you were an acquaintance with or um, <clears throat> but, you know, honestly, um, you know, my best friend, I would say he doesn't drink anyways, um, but we've even drifted apart because of COVID. Um, you know, he would like to get together and I wouldn't just because of the health restrictions and uh, yeah, so. I just wanted to point that out to you, that if you do decide to quit drinking, it's something that you should be aware of. Um, sure, you can work towards keeping those friends, and if you're strong enough to go to the bar and have a, uh, you know, alcohol-free spritzer or diet Pepsi or whatever drink you want, um, non-alcohol drink, then go for it. If, if, you know that's not for everyone i don't i don't i didn't like going up to the to the bars and stuff even you know as i got older when i was drinking alcohol anyway so it's you know i would rather just drink at a friend's place or have them come over to my place and have drinks so that's all i have today i uh, just wanted to share that with you be aware of it you know just remember that uh, it's okay if uh, you've heard it before if you know someone goes away and maybe that was meant to be and, and maybe that was meant to be um, if they're a really good friend I guess you know they'll stick around but you might make new friends better friends closer friends so good luck with uh, with your sobriety journey and if you haven't already please like please subscribe and I will see you soon. Ciao.